who is this down there? It's Luna the Super Puppy. Is that little barky want to come up here? <laughs> Luna the Super Puppy. <laughs> Ooh, your hair is really actually quite nice today, honey. <laughs> I think it looks good. So, Christine is leaky. What's happened is this here water shut off thing of a jiggy here up on the top here didn't react and do a shut off. Every now and then you'll get a piece of debris in there or something and it sticks. Oh, there she's overflowing. So we'll try it again. And of course now it's stopped. <laughs> so we'll give it a couple of thingamajiggy wax, maybe letter, that'll take care of it. I meant to say later. Well, it's a good thing I had my trusty little Jeep in here and that had a good battery charge because in the meantime, this thing, Christine the butler, had to rear her ugly head and decided because that was running all afternoon and night last night with that little switch on draining the battery, it decided not to have enough charge to start up. Christine, you deviled you. You just want to make sure I have to work for it. We got to go. <laughs> Dang it, I thought I'd be ahead of schedule. Not true. So the place I'm gonna be cleaning, and I did give permission to a video. This is in our Central Square Mall in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. And the person who is opening this place, it's a story and arts museum. I used to play in ensembles with her. I don't know if you knew I was a trumpet player, still am, but don't play as much. And the owner who's putting in this nonprofit, Heidi, she is a very good French horn player. Her brother is a keyboard player who I've played with in many rock and roll bands and he's out played professional too. But anyway, I'm gonna be, uh, have a chance to do some videoing showing you what they've got going here. It's gonna be pretty unique and pretty cool for our little town in Grand Rapids, Minnesota that supports the arts a lot. We love it. We got 2,500 square feet approximately here to clean. Zipper one, we'll make short order of it. It's soiled, but not super huge, but still noticeable. And I'm still getting some of the chocolate milk. One thing gonna hold me back is if my knee cramps up. <laughs> Might just have to go get some WD-40 and put on it. This is the Zipper SS Super Spinner. This is gonna pound the soils out, recover well, just do a darn good job. One of my favorite tools, is you can haul the mail. 2,000 square foot an hour if uh, you've got superhuman strengths. So one time I think I did. <laughs> no, not really. More of a Clark Kent kind of guy. Pushing and pulling. I'm gonna set this corner up, get in those edges, and the remainder of this side.
I'm gonna switch over, get the hose on that side of me now. So I'm working away from the hose. Notice that knee, that's the new knee. That's right, kick it. Kick with the new knee. See how good it's built. See, I'll get it out of the way. So I'm not running into it all the time. All right, now I shouldn't have a hose issue. This is gonna be working away from it. See that little knee kick? Rock cats might be looking for a replacement there. I'll keep working on it. I got it. Got it in the tank. Going on 60, I'm sure they're looking for a chubby guy. Come in and join the rock cats. Well, maybe not. <laughs> it's like there's something stuck in here. Take a look. Whew. Already pulling up some debris. Oh yeah, add some sand. Give her a little clear out. We're ready, come to pop. Oh yeah, that's better already. I can feel it. Wait for it. Kick. So I'm catching my breath. Because <laughs> it's age thing for me. Uh, anyway, this is Heidi Wick. Heidi is the one opening up this museum and story center. So Heidi, tell me a little bit what you have going here. This is called Story Arts and Museum. So what we're doing here is a nonprofit, and we're bringing together things from the community that tell our stories. Wonderful. So we're going to feature Faith Wick's work that are currently on exhibit at the Judy Garland Museum. So those are coming here plus other artist works that she has collected in her own um, creation. Which, uh, that is your mom, that's correct? That's my mom. 90 years young. And that's sort of the inspiration. This is sort of like Fairyland Park Vision 3. So we're expanding. And, yeah, and so this is going to be um, a place for community to come to tell stories. So we want to tell stories all the way from Leech Lake up to the Iron Range. This is fantastic. And uh, yeah, yeah, we love featuring Northern Minnesota and the arts. So it's going to be a performance space for music, dance, um, theater, as well as storytelling, and then classes and crafting space. It's going to be a great activity center. I'm going to take this angle here, and then I'm going to turn around and square it off actually today. Get this edge. Then. I'm going to get into it right from here and pull this way. Pulling that hose with me. There we go. You can see the line, see the difference. At least I hope you can. I'm pretty sure you can. down the middle. Woo! Chocolate tea. That's some good eating. Oh yeah. Oh. Yep. That's good. It's boring cleaning clean stuff all the time. Gets me all tingly. Oh yeah. Little kick with the new knee. Oh, that was the old knee. That's the original equipment knee. Oh, let's see how we do here. We cleared it. We're getting a little, a little tougher to get in here. Right there, that's a work of art too appropriate in an art studio. Very nice. I tell you about drive passes, boys and girls. Do your drive passes.
way too many of me. Those of you not familiar, I am using a height hose. This is a 20 footer. I find this is the sweet spot for me. So to make this work, you know, you got a shut off valve here, but you shut off the valves to uh, be able to release the pressure and undo this. But I need to release the valve down there. So I need to leave that on a second. Come down to here, because this is where I'm gonna hook up for my pre-spray. Shut that off. So, this is still on, release, boom. Sometimes I shut that off just in case I mistakenly do it. But now we'll just unhook here and hook back into my pre-sprayer. Oh, come on, Mark, there we go. Oh, that's hot. Oh my goodness, dainty little hands, oh. Today I'm using Sager Sauce One, our original formula, and I put in some of our uh, Oxy Booster powdered booster, and this is six quarts, and I have about two quarts left on this 2,500 square feet. I didn't have it as soiled. I still give it a good spraying to get the fibers soaking and you know kind of swimming in the pre-spray so that it'll emulsify and lift up those soils. But this is pretty good dilution rate. This is at four to one also, so it's taking out twice as fast as your normal stock. Multi-sprayer brand, made in Minnesota. I'm gonna get this section, this pathway, which could be one of the more soiled pathways coming from shipping back here. But I'm gonna get that lined up, cleaned up. And then I'm gonna move the hose over here. So then I can start working away from the hose. By the way, I've already done that. Just didn't do it in video, save you some of that time. Definitely some chocolate milk. That sounds really good right now, by the way, some chocolate milk. Carpet cleaning, reminding me of food. Well, lots of things remind me of food. It takes a lot to maintain a body like this in now chubby wubby guy in the picture. So, I started losing suction. I thought, I gotta go change the filter bag. No, I don't. Unfortunately, sometimes with the General Motor vans, with the Butler, with other units, it goes into the Phantom Idle. There's only one way to get it out of Phantom Idle. So you shut it off. It takes 10 seconds to cycle this here too. Another way, shut the key on and off. And hit the power again. And now I'm gonna have more suction. <laughs> and I'm doing pretty good. About a third of a tank left. So the owner, Heidi and myself, having been musicians, we were just talking about how we rely on our sound so much. And uh, not only the feel, we can feel when the machine was not as powerful, I guess, but also the sound of the suction. And there's a difference. And that's one of the things I gotta say, being lucky, having been a musician for so long, you just know when something isn't quite right. And right now I have a little bit more harder time hearing. 
My wife says I don't hear a darn thing. What was that, honey? <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna be so grounded. Got a bit a little bit of goober goobery up here. We'll have to clean that up. And we'll clean these up too. I want these all sparkly, sparkly, shiny again. Time to shut her down. And Start using that fancy new electric high pressure reel of mine. Wow! We're gonna get the big hose in, the vacuum hose. That'll be the first thing we're gonna do in that button. Then we're gonna go to this new little fancy high pressure Butler new one. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Just the push of a button. Reeling it in now. Mark, thank you so much. It is so amazing to thank have this you. cleaned up. Hey, we appreciate it allowing us to be of service here and love the little community of Grand Rapids. Best wishes on your new endeavor here. This is awesome what you're bringing to the community. So, two thumbs up. Thanks thank again. Thank you so much. See Our you. carpets are going to last lots longer. Story Art Museum. There you are.